which leads us to our 6 p.m. chat with local baseball author and pictorial historian, Mr. Andy Strasberg. Andy promoting his latest effort, Fantography, San Diego Baseball. This is volume two, and Andy is in studio with me. Andy, is Miguel Olivo in the book? What? I can't hear you. No, he is not. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andy, uh, tell people, this is volume two. Uh, obviously, it's it's a pet project. It's, it's more of a passion project for you. How did the series get born? Uh, it actually started when I was a kid. I was uh, going to high school. I was fascinated with baseball, and my favorite player was Roger Maris, and I had a picture taken by my best friend, and over the years, I keep looking at that picture, and then a light bulb finally went on in 1997. There must be a lot of these types of pictures all across the country. So I did a shout out, next thing I knew, I had a lot of great pictures. And uh, every picture tells a story or a thousand words, depending on which song you listen to. Why does the concept work? I, I, why does it work in general, and you know, and why does it work specifically for fantography? Well, I, I think it works for a couple of reasons. First, these are personal and poignant stories. And I remember when, I, long ago when I worked for the Padres, there was a great saying that our owner, Ray Kroc, came up with, and that is, it's privately owned and publicly held. So fans actually think that they are the guys who are in charge of the ball club. And so they have taken pictures of their experience, as long as one, they're not a professional photographer, and two, it's not of game action. It's what's important to them, and it resonates with everybody else. It's kind of like reading somebody's diary, I Absolutely. guess. I know, excuse my uh, lack of originality, What's your favorite picture in this volume? I've got a couple of favorite pictures. Uh, one actually has to do, in 1984, I was uh, in charge of decorating the stadium. And uh, one of the things I wanted to do was make sure that everyone knew that they were going to be at a World Series. So I had painted on the wall at the gates before the uh, stadium opened, 1984 World Series. So that was one of my favorite, favorite pictures because that was the intent. And here it is all these years later. And now that picture has come back and it's part of the Fantography book. You were telling me there's no action photos in the book. It's all behind the scenes pictures. Uh, t for guys who are seeing themselves, the ex-Padres that are in the book, what's their reaction been? It's been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and I would put at the top of the list Randy Jones because there are so many great pictures and you've got to keep in mind these are from the fans and it's for the fans and it's about the fans and so the players are getting to see those personal pictures probably for the first time uh, the players are enjoying that you know with everybody else I would assume the hard part was not collecting the pictures. The hard part would have to have been figuring out which ones stay and which one. I mean, you'd want a, a, a bible size book. Uh, could you talk about the editing process and how difficult that was? You're absolutely right, Paul. This is the most difficult part of the procedure in putting together a book. The publisher, who loves the concept, obviously, he wanted 200 pictures. And uh, I have thousands and thousands to choose oh. from. And so what I did is I got it down to about 350, and I said to the publisher, it's up to you. You edit it. I'm too close now. Well, do what a rock group does. Just make another album uh, uh, in a couple of years. I mean, just space them out. Uh, tell people you have a book signing coming up, and then, I mean, folks, this is, you can't put it down. Uh, tell us how, how we can get this, uh, get our own copy if you don't give me this one. Well, it, you can go to fantography.com, and you'll be able to uh, click on and order the book, or you can come to uh, a book signing at Randy Jones's Grill at Hazard Center this Tuesday night from 6 to 8. And when I say it's a book signing, I'm smart enough to know Randy's the one that's going to be doing the <laughs> signing, not me. Uh, uh, Andy, uh, so we have volumes one and two, and I believe we just mis uh, misspelled your name at the top there, so we'll correct that. Uh, Andy, can you tell us uh, a little bit, uh, will there be a volume three from, for San Diego fans? Uh, absolutely. I encourage fans to send me their pictures. If it's San Diego Padres, PCL, or Major League Padres, I encourage fans, if it's the Chicago Cubs, I'm looking for personal and poignant pictures that they have taken and their experience is seen through the lens of their camera. But no game action, that's important. 
And Andy, you know, you could take this from town to town. You, could, you, you might be sitting on a gold mine here. I would love to do a, a baseball fantography book for every major and minor league city in the country. All right, Andy Strasberg, everybody. The book is Fantography, San Diego Baseball, the second edition. And boy, wouldn't this look good on my coffee table? Ah. <laughs> Especially if it was signed by the yeah. author. Something tells me it's going to end up there. Uh, what a great idea, though. Uh, it's, it's out of this world. All right.